in September 2001. Letters containing anthrax spores were mailed to media offices and government facilities. The ensuing investigation became one of the largest and complex in the history of U.S. law enforcement. Today, should you encounter a suspicious package or letter, the following guidance will help maximize safety and minimize disruption. The Arizona Department of Health Services has developed training objectives to provide information and instructions on the appropriate steps one should take if a suspicious package or letter is encountered. Your training objective is to review the materials so that you may maximize safety while minimizing the disruption associated with these incidences. Recent local and national events have raised concerns about how to recognize and handle suspicious mail and packages. These guidelines and procedures are based on the recommendations by the U.S. Postal Service, the FBI, and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Items sent to the U.S. Postal Service will have a preliminary screen performed. Some postal facilities have on-site air collectors that use PCR to test samples. These tests are considered screens and detect a limited number of agents. Remember that items sent through private or commercial couriers may not have been previously screened. As a precaution, mail is screened at all levels. Reviewing acceptable postage, screening for irregularities, and following protocol when suspicious. Items are reviewed within offices. Appropriate postage is identified. Basic guidelines are followed. The receipt of items through private or commercial couriers should be managed in reception areas. Together, we are all aware. Suspicious signs include no return address, restrictive markings, excessive postage, misspelled words, wrong title with name, oily stains on wrapping, protruding wires, strange odor, badly typed or written postage.
The following are actions to avoid. Do not open the item. Do not move it or disturb it. Leave it where it is. And do not bring it to show others. Don't pass it along. Do not panic. Do not shake the contents and don't get any of the material on yourself. If you open mail that contains an unknown substance, remain calm, do not try to clean it up, leave the area, alert others, contact your supervisor and wash your hands. Here's an example of suspicious mail and package protocol. If you suspect you may have been exposed, note that symptoms are more immediate with chemical exposures. Biological exposures may take one to three days for the onset of symptoms. The state lab can conduct tests within five to six hours and treatment is available. Remember to go to a designated safe area and await health and safety support personnel. In summary, remember, always promote safety. Remember to follow protocols. Apply common sense, thinking clearly and responding thoughtfully. Awareness, preparedness, and planning can help you safely respond to maximize safety and minimize disruption if you encounter suspicious mail and packages.